Hey, this is Lewis Bryce, and you're watching Off the Rack. Hey guys, it's Raquel with Off the Rack, and I am here with Lewis Bryce. What is going on? How are you? I am doing fantastic. 27 floors up in Nashville at the Westin, about to play a show. It is going to be incredible. It's a little hot outside. Hope you're ready to rock. Are we going to jump in the pool? We can't. I heard the stage is on the pool. Well, the stage is currently on top of the pool, so there won't be any jumping into the pool, but I'll be, it'll look like I've jumped into the pool after the show, probably, just because it's, it's a little warm, you know, but if, you, if you're not sweating, you're not rocking. It's only like 180 degrees. It's yeah. fine, and it's, it's cool. We'll just tell everyone we went in the pool. It was like that kind of party. It's okay. okay. All right, so your EP is finally out. Debut EP, finally here. I was super excited when it finally came out. Maybe second to you. Uh, yeah. A little bit. I was pretty excited. I was really excited. It's been a long time coming. And uh, so far, it's, it's done pretty well. I've had a lot of friends and family say, oh, they got it. But I'll also um, other just messages from random people saying they picked it up and they're really enjoying it. So I'm, uh, I'm excited what it's done so far and where it's going to go. And I heard Messing With My Mind on Spotify, and I literally stopped it, played it, freaked out. <laughs> Played it again. It's such a good song. Did you ever think it was a little too personal to write or no? Um, like I said, most of the songs I can attach myself to in some way or the other. Um, that song, Messing With Mine, is a more personal song, I agree, but you know, it's a good song. And I think other people, has, other people have been through that same situation before. Definitely. If you haven't listened to it, you need to do it. You also need to download the EP. How did you pick which songs were going to be on the EP? Because I know, you know, you can only have a couple. And that's really hard for a songwriter. So how did you kind of narrow it down? We kind of narrowed it down just by like, like I said, I've been playing and touring for some years. And all these songs I've been playing out, you know, I've always wanted to get copied and you know, get them on disc and record. So I finally got them. It was really hard to narrow them down to six rather than to five. I had some help from some outside friends and um, some of their opinions mattered a lot. And we were just going to be like, Hey, let's put those six songs in there. Make those ones. You, you have to decide for us to put all the focus on it. And once we decided, we went with it. And uh, now I'm ready just to, I've already started thinking about the next six. So. <laughs> I am terrible at making decisions, so I can't even imagine having to narrow it down. I don't even know. Are you a good decision maker? I guess you kind of have to be. Um, I kind of fly by the seat of my pants. So decision making, I just, it just, if it presents itself, I'll, I, if I have to make the call, I can. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. So you can make decisions because I, I just really can't. I was like, yeah, we'll face this way, I guess, for this interview. Sure, we'll do it. He kind of was like, this works, this, this works. Way, with the lighting, it works okay. So. See, glad, glad you could help. You can be like my co-host for now on. If they could only see out there, the, it's a what of you of Nashville. Yeah. Social media will show you what's going on in here. All right, so I've heard that you kind of just don't want to be in one genre. You don't want to narrow it down, which is kind of controversial-ish right now because some people are like, I like this not one genre thing. Some people are like, no, it needs to be country music. It needs to be this type. How do you feel about that? Well, when I say non-genre, like, uh, we're definitely releasing to country music, but at the end of the day, when you listen to my music, um, and when I listen to country music in general, the, the broad styles of it are so vast. I mean, you've got, you've got hip hop country, you've got rock and country, you've got bluesy country. You, you can look at you know, Keith Urban and Garth Brooks. I mean, it's just two different extremes. And I feel that country music is very accepting to types of music these days. And you know, if they want to label it country, they can label it country. Uh, I, could, I could try and label it good music. I like that answer. Good answer. All right, so take me back all the way back. Major influences growing up. Major influences growing up. Uh, all the way back, if I was riding around in a car, we had Linda Ronstadt playing. My mom was already having that going. My dad either had the Gaithers, the Cathedrals, or you know, uh, the Oak Ridge Boys, stuff like that going. And then once we got a little older and I started listening to more music, um, I got into like the 90s country whenever you're Travis Tritts and your Garth Brooks and your Randy Travis's, Alan Jackson's. And um, then through that, that time period there, after that, I, I kind of, once, once I made my way to Charleston and got to college, I uh, got into a little bit of rock and roll and funk music. So that's whenever you got to your Nirvanas and your Pearl Jam and your Aerosmiths. So, uh, and, and your fuel, Fuels, and so I've kind of gone with the, 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 the but that's kind of where I reside. I'm, I'm kind of a 90s music junkie and all, you know, country and, and rock and roll. I mean, 90s was just the greatest. How can you not hate, like the 90s? Come on. All right, so what are you listening to right now? I know a lot of people want to know what artists are listening to because then they're going to go download it. What, what's kind of on your phone right now that you're listening to? A lot of the new stuff I've had. I, I like the Dirk, new Dirk's Bentley record. It's out. It's a really good record on that stuff. But um, 
Uh, this is a lot of my, the stuff we, we got out. Uh, my brother's stuff, uh, Lee Bryce. He's got he's got a new new tune out. He's got a new record about to come out. So listen to that all the time because he always asks me his opinion on uh, what <laughs> what should be good and what should, shouldn't be good. So um, that and um, I listen to all kind of stuff, man, all the way to Tupac to Yellow Wolf to Eminem. You know, so I, I'm hip hop and country and. I can kind of, it is a long list. Female powerhouse that you're listening to? Who is it? Uh, female powerhouse. Uh, Lauren Elena is crushing right now. So good. She's amazing. She And she likes onesies. How can you not, like, love her? Yeah, she's really, really cool. She's a sweet, sweetheart. Are you a onesie wearer? We have to find out these hard-hitting questions right now. What I do behind closed doors, everybody doesn't need to know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so he has a unicorn onesie is basically what he's trying to tell us. <laughs> Treasure trolls. All right, that works. It's cool. Next interview, we can be in our onesies. Okay, perfect. I'm down with it. All right, we're going to shake on it. That's happening. All right, <laughs> perfect. All right, so where can everyone find you on social media? On social media, just look up at Lewis Bryce. That'll take you to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat. I think my Snapchat actually is at Lou Bryce, L-E-W-B-R-I-C-E. -E. Are we getting better at Snapchat? Because I know last time I talked to you, we were working on it. I'm still working on getting a little bit better. Um, actually, I haven't snapped today. I did FaceTime. I did Facebook Live, though. I Facebook Live, okay. like twice. And what about that Instagram story? We say we're working on that, too. I'm still working on that one because I can't. I, I always forget. And my Snapchat, and my Insta snapping, and my Facebook, I don't know. You can, you can post the same things. It's fine. I'm working on that too. <laughs> See, we're good. We're we're good. next interview onesies. Oh, greatest yeah. social media game ever. It's perfect. And of course, guys, don't forget to follow Off the Rock and all of our corresponding social media. I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.